Okay, magandang araw kapatid sa ating uh, pagsamasama ngayon magbasa tayo ng isang chapter sa book of Apostle Paul kaya puntahan natin yung isang chapter at panoorin pakinggan uh, Ito'y mabasa natin kapatid sa 2 Timothy chapter 2 Basahin natin yung verse 1 sa English na version Thou therefore my son be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus And the things that thou hast heard among of me, among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men, who shall be able to teach others also. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No man that toareth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please Him who hath chosen him to be a soldier, and if a man also strive for masteries, yet is he not crowned except he be strive lawfully. The husbandman that laboreth must be first partaker of the fruits. Consider what I say, and the Lord give understanding in all things. Remember that Jesus Christ of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to my gospel. Therefore, I endure all things for the elect six, that they may also obtain the salvation which is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. It is a faithful saying, for if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he will, he also will deny us. If we believe not, yet he abideth faithful, he cannot deny himself. Of these things both them in remembrance, charging them before the Lord that they strive not about words to no prophet but to subverting of the hearers study to show thyself approved unto god a workman that needeth not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth but shan profan and been babblings for they'll increase unto more and godliness And their words will eat as doth a cancer of whom is Herminius and Philetus, who conceiving the truth are erred, saying that the resurrection is past already, and overthrown the faith of some. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, having this seal. The Lord knoweth them that are his, And let everyone that nameth the name of Jesus Christ depart from iniquity. But in a great house there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of earth, and some of honor and some to dishonor. If a man therefore purges himself from this, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified and meet for the master's use, and prepared unto every good work. Flee also youthful lust, but follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace with him that call on the Lord out of a pure, but foolish and unlearned Christians avoid. Knowing that they do tender stripes, and the servants of the Lord must not strive, but the gen- be gentle unto all men, apt to teach, patient, in meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves in God for adventure, will give them repentance to the knowledge of the truth, and that. They may recover themselves, not of the sneer of the devil, who are taken captive by him 
at His will. Bilang isang mananampalaya, mananampalataya ng ating Panginoong Diyos kapatid at bilang isang grace believer, we are characterized as uh, this five important uh, character na makita natin sa buong talata ng 2 Timothy chapter 2. First of all, ating makita dito sa verse 3 to 4, we are a soldier. So, pag sinabing a soldier, hindi tayo dapat mag uh, uh, dapat alert tayo sa paligid. Kasi pagkamaunahan tayo sa laban na pang spiritual. Kasi we wrestle not against uh, place and blood but against principalities powers of the darkness. Pangalawa, we are characterized as athletes. So, uh, hangarin natin na magkaroon ng mga tagumpay spiritually. So, dapat ito'y nasa puso natin yung magkaroon tayo ng passion to have a successful uh, future specifically to uh, present or preach the gospel. Next, we are farmer. So, verse 6. So, it involves patient. If we consider the life of a farmer, kahit hindi niya alam kung kailan siya at paano siya magka production sa kanyang pagpa-farm, pero patuloy pa rin siya na nag- uh, ilog para lang makaroon ng mga harvest. Next, student. From the word study, sa verse 15, dapat tayo magbigay ng panahon ng pag-aaral ng mga salita ng Panginoon. So, as a believers of Christ, as a grace believer, hindi tayo magpadalos-dalos ng ibang mga paniniwala. Dapat alamin natin sa pamagitan ng pag-study. So, we are students of the Word of God. Ang nakabuti dyan dahil we are encouraged by the Word to write, divide the Scripture. Next, we are vessel. When it comes to vessel, Dalawa ang pagkasabi dyan na mayroong tinatawag na vessel to honor and vessel unto dishonor. So, saan kayo sa dalawa? So, dapat nakasit ka to be a vessel unto honor. Napaka-importante yan na part sa ating buhay na maging vessel unto honor tayo. So, sa chapter na ito, may matutunan tayo ng mga karakter na dapat ating maging mapasa atin. So, sa lahat ng mga napak nakinig sa ating uh, content ngayon, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa nais makaroon ng mga iba pang kaalaman, paki-click yung ibang video natin at paki-subscribe sa ating channel at paki-share sa iyong mga kaibigan. God bless.